everybody, it's CJ from Dream Diecast Cars and today is Model Car Monday. On this episode, I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite diecast cars. The 118 Lamborghini LP550-2 Balboni made by AutoArt. Whether you know it or not, you actually see this diecast car every week on the opener I play before each episode. Now let's start reviewing this diecast car. On the exterior, AutoArt replicated the stripe quite well, along with the headlights and the Reddington style nose. You'll see it right here. On the side of the diecast car, you'll notice that the wheels are done very well. You'll see that it has the Lamborghini logo in it, along with five screws that go around the little circle here. The calipers also say Lamborghini on them. AutoArt also copied the bigger brakes on the rear wheels and the way it says LP550-2 right there. On the back of this diecast car is where you'll find my first complaint. Most of the stuff is good though, like how it says Lamborghini right here, the rear lights are done well, and this grill back here is made out of real metal. But the hood doesn't open well. The engine area is replicated well, but there wasn't much to replicate. This little mesh right here is done well, along with this little cap, it looks like. But the engine area, most of it is kind of under here, like under the car. So AutoArt didn't have much to replicate, so it looks good. Now that the look around the outside is done, let's take a look at the interior. Catch me in my Mercedes, but when I slice, baby, screaming shady till I die. Like I have a paradise, life's crazy, so I live it till the fullest, till I'm swayzy, and you only live it once. So I'm thinking about this night. On the interior, the diecast car looks pretty good. The stripe on the outside carries over the center console like it would in the real car and two other stripes carry over each seat. On the other side, you'll see that the dash is laid out well with all the buttons in the correct place. It says Lamborghini right here where it should. The footwell is lined with felt and the door sill says Gallardo on it. So this is all good. The interior isn't completely perfect though. You can tell that this is based on an automatic because it has the options for launch control and stuff right here and there are pedals on the steering wheel. But if you look, there are three pedals plus one for the parking brake. There should only be three pedals if this car was a manual. But, as I said earlier, this is based on an automatic, so that's not right. So now the only part left to review is the trunk, which isn't very interesting, just kind of a hole lined with felt. Although one interesting thing is that there are these little bars right here, like there would be on a real Lamborghini, that go up and down to kind of direct the trunk, which looks really good. So in the end, here's how I'd sum things up about this diecast car. I like how AutoArt offers it many colors, such as black, yellow, orange, gray, white, and green. And at a price of $136.95, it is a pretty good deal. But I don't like how this engine is very hard to open up and kind of breakable, and how they did a really stupid mistake by adding a clutch on an automatic car. With all that said, I'd give this car a B plus. Thank you very much for watching and tune in next week to Dream Diecast Cars.